Well, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm lucky enough to be here with Mr. Frank Kern. My name is Chris Johnson. Thanks so much for taking the time, Frank. I really appreciate it. Happy to be here, man. Right on. Uh, so we're going to be talking about advertising and uh, a lot of our audience is business to consumer. So you can think like mortgage professionals, insurance guys, lawyers looking for local customers. And we'll just have a conversation about how to help those guys get more business, if that's cool with you. Sounds great. Let's do it. Awesome. So um, I know that you're doing uh, a ton of stuff on, on social media right now and online advertising. And I mean, you have guys like like Tony Robbins that come to you for advice on this kind of stuff. So I'm really, really interested to hear your answers to a couple of the questions I got lined up for you. Cool. So, uh, so the first thing is just your number one way to grow a business because so much has changed. What's kind of like your number one way to grow a business? I think the most dependable way to do it and the most consistent way to do it is to learn how to turn advertising into profit. And um, I really want to make it clear that I, I'm not in the advertising selling business or anything. Yeah. You know? So it doesn't matter to me if someone's watching this goes and spends fifty billion dollars on advertising. It's not going to come to me. Um, so I'm not saying that with an ulterior motive in mind. It's just I've been at it for uh, this is my 19th year of uh, advising entrepreneurs on how to grow business. And if somebody can crack the code on turning cold advertising, meaning like going to complete strangers turning them into customers and doing so at a profit, two things happen. Number one, they have a situation where they'll put a dollar in to this machine, so to speak, and then they'll get more than a dollar out, and they can do that consistently. But the act of doing that also has this ancillary benefit of growing the business as a brand. So more and more people become familiar with the business. So it's like this snowball effect, which is really good. So it all roads point to advertising, but the trick is, it has to be advertising that actually works, which in your industry, uh, people that follow you are very lucky to come across you because most people in mortgage, real estate, professional services, their ads don't work ever <laughs> uh, because they do them wrong. And uh, that, that's a shame, but it's also a significant competitive advantage for anybody who does it right. Yeah. Oh, that's true. And what we find is that it actually gives a business the ability to scale because so many people in, in our type of business depend on referrals. Mm -hmm. And then you're dependent on just past customers referring you business. You can't, you can't scale. You can't do fast growth that way. It's so there's no, like, if you have an ad campaign that's working and you know, if all of the forces come together, if you want to scale, it can literally be just a function of saying, okay, let's put more money into the ad campaign. And yep. you're putting ten thousand dollars a month in, you're getting twenty thousand back. In some cases, hopefully more often than not, you can put twenty thousand in and get forty thousand back, and now you scale. Whereas if you're depending on referrals or whatever, you're really at the mercy of someone else's agenda. And while it's great because on the surface it seems like it's free, etc., it's just nothing you have control over, and you're basically in a reactive state. All the time. All of the time. And so, yeah, I, I, I couldn't agree more. So traffic, like, you know, putting money into advertising right now, where are you seeing as kind of like the best places to, to spend advertising dollars as far as like a channel? What's the best way to run those campaigns? Well, it's where people are, right? So, and, and, you know, in the old days, it would be, all right, let's go on television, let's get on the radio, let's get a newspaper and all that stuff is still effective. But from my experience, especially right now in today's environment, is to get in front of them on these guys. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's glued to this, you know? Yep. I'm literally, I keep having to hit the off button on mine because emails are popping up as we're on this thing. So the question becomes, how do we get in front of them on this? And most people use their phone for actual phone calls and texts. But if you were to take a cross section of the entire world and use the smartphones, the majority of their time is spent on social media channels, on those Twitter's, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or LinkedIn. And what's happened is this little guy has turned into the, the modern day television and radio. Yeah. So this is where, I mean, of course, we still watch TV and all that kind of stuff, but we, we consume a ton of video on this. We listen to a lot of podcast information on this. We read a lot of print material on this. And I don't care what the market is, your customers are on social, and they're on social on their mobile devices. And um, man, who knows how long this is going to last, but right now, from a cost perspective, it's so unbelievably inexpensive 
to get in front of them, it's like I almost get nervous thinking something bad is going to happen because it's so good right now. It's like, okay, we're we supposed to be able to actually. <laughs> it's like this is cool because we're like really having great luck with this, and uh, it is. It just not enough people have caught on with this uh, social media works like it does in advertising capacity, so it's still underpriced, which is great. Oh, absolutely! It's like AdWords was ten years ago. Yeah. It's, yeah. So. Um, so social media is a, a huge thing. So if we look at Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, what are you finding is the, the best pathway to the consumer right now as far as how to attract people, how to put them into a funnel? What's kind of like your, your best tip for actually generating leads and customers? It, it starts with asking the business owner a question, um, a series of questions. The first question is, who do you want as your yep. customer? And so when people think social media, and I fell into this trap for a long time, so I get it. We think social media is just like kids posting what they had for breakfast or whatever. Yeah. It, it is in a lot of cases, that's what's, what it's being used for. But the fact of the matter is the majority of Western civilization and the developed civilization from the our age, you know, I'm 21, <laughs> you know, all the way up to like grandparents age. Everybody is on this media. So if we understand that you can actually get in front of anybody you want, the question first needs to be, who do I want to attract as a customer? So let's say it's someone who's looking to buy their first home, just as a random example. You know. So once you identify that person, then you need to ask the question, of, okay, what do they want? And this is where it gets really, really important in terms of how to attract them. Because once you know what they want, all of your media campaigns just need to be content that's showing them how to get what they want in advance. And basically saying, hey, if you, if you want some help with this kind of stuff, we're happy to help you. Go and do this. And go and do this could be schedule an appointment with my office or come and see us or pick up the phone and call us. Yep. And right now, we have the ability to get in front of those people with that type of message. It's so inexpensive that it's never been anything like it in history. So it's great. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So we have a campaign in the mortgage business right now that's specifically for first time home buyers. And what we're doing is we're showing them videos on how to check their credit, how to make sure that their credit is as good as it possibly can be so that they can get a good mortgage rate on their mortgage. And people digest that content. They like it. They share it. There's real no, there's no real sales pitch behind it until after they consume the content. And it's totally transformed the way that those campaigns perform. It's it's unbelievable. Well, you know, what, what it does is you're you're answering the most important question in marketing, which is what must I demonstrate to be true yeah. for somebody to want to do business with me? Because nobody believes anybody anymore. Like we go <laughs> the best rates ever. Like that's why I was saying, you know, in mortgage industry and banking, finance and professional services, people who are doing it right have a unbelievably unfair advantage because most of your competition is saying we have the lowest rates so we've been serving you know georgia since 1971 and they're like okay great that's nothing to do with what consumers thinking so when you put a campaign out there like that the first time home buyer is like oh this person actually is helping me now i feel the sense of comfort and trust with them so if you're presenting them with a hey schedule an appointment with us or whatever offer when they already feel like that of course it's going to work better so the job so how do we just make as many people as possible feel comfortable that we've already helped them and you're doing it which is to show them this content that actually helps them I mean, you know we always joke around call the oldest trick in the book you know, demonstrate you can help by actually helping them <laughs> that's it but it, it works tremendously it's yeah it's great so that ties into the whole intent-based branding Thing. Would you mind just kind of explaining to my audience what intent-based branding is and, and how it kind of rolls out? Yeah, so it is the, the for, it is the byproduct of extremely good fortune that we're all exposed to right now. So if you look at some of the biggest companies in the world, they were built from television ads. And yeah. TV ads created big global brands. Like I was just reading about Albert Lasker, who was an ad man, and um, he put Florida in place as the capital of orange juice. So like his ad campaigns caused orange juice to become like a thing that everybody drank. Before that, it wasn't really much to it, but he invented the term sun kissed for orange juice. Oh. Drink, a, drink an orange, and I, you know, you should have orange juice for breakfast, and how many glasses should you have, and all of that. Then a lot of that was television media. Yeah. Right? So it's, it used to be if you wanted to build like a giant brand like that and constantly get this message out there, you would have to put you know, billions and billions of things. Dollars TV. What's happened now is because of social media, we take that same idea of 
putting the, this content and these ideas in front of your consumer to build a brand, build a presence, but we do it with the intention of immediately getting a customer. So that's why I called it intent-based, and we do it without spending a ton of money. So the process works like this. We say, who do we want? What do they want? How do they get it? And then yep. we do content about, hey, here's how you get that thing you want. And during that content, we say, hey, you know, if you want some help doing that, here's what I want you to do. Call in, go to this website, schedule an appointment, whatever it is. So we're creating that stuff, getting it out into everybody in front of them. And uh, then you know, tell them what to do. And the magic is, where we've never been able to do this before, is that now if somebody watches that stuff, they're going to see more of our stuff. And we yeah. can even target them with more ads. That, and, you know, it makes sense to target them because they already watched it and we know they've watched it. And so it's like, give all of this stuff away that makes people like you. And then the people who have demonstrated that they like you because they watched your stuff, you get more stuff. You know, and it's every time you're saying, hey, call us or whatever. So it was like, like a long way to answer the question, but I always want to be careful because that word branding has forever yes. associated with let's spend millions of dollars because that's, that's not what it's about at all. Yeah. And we're just using the same media, which is video, uh, to now accelerate that process a lot faster. Yeah. And we've found that. So in, in the agency and the you know mortgage and insurance and legal business, we have a lot of customers that aren't comfortable in front of the camera. They don't want to get in front of the camera. So we found that we were actually able to replicate on a smaller scale with just helpful content like blueprints, blog posts, stuff like that. But very similar process. They engage in the content. We retarget them based on the fact that they've gotten that help from us and then bring them into the funnel that way. So uh, it's interesting for people that are concerned about that. Um, I've got limited testing data. Like I wouldn't even consider a test, a test video unless it's not going to be million data points. So in our company, we've spent just in my own business about half a million dollars since July doing this stuff, just you know, sell our own stuff. And then we manage things for clients as well. We don't take any new clients, but we still have our core group of them. So we spend a lot of money on this stuff and have tested really fancy stuff versus yep. home funds like it looks like you shot it on your phone because you like yep. shot it on your phone and the homemade stuff works way better because people are blind to fancy they're blind to stuff that looks like an ad but if they're like man i wonder if i can get approved for a house and my credit's good and you have someone that just looks like they know what they're talking about say hey you know you're worried about getting a home loan and it's important to have pretty good credit and here's how to know if your credit's good or not here's what they're like if your credit is better, you can save a lot of money on a mortgage. A lot of mortgage brokers wouldn't want you to have good credit. They can charge you that extra interest. Here's how to check it and what to do with it. I'm check this out. And now you're just talking to them. Way more effective than like the logo and the animations and the music and all that stuff. You know? so, yeah. Yeah. Your guys who are afraid to be on camera, they're probably the ones who will be best on camera. Because they're yeah. more professional and that's what you want. Yeah. And, and super simple just to help people, which is great. And, and, you know, we've seen in our own business also a dramatic increase, not only in the results that we're getting from the advertising campaign, but once you actually talk to that person because they've seen you, they've heard your voice, they, they've somewhat been indoctrinated, the leads are higher quality. It's easier to talk to the lead. You don't have to chase people. Because they just feel like they're entering into a relationship. It's not that whole sales pursuit type of thing where you got to go, you know, club them and drag them back to the cave. It's very social. Yeah, it's very, it's very magnetic. Yeah, because all of the heavy lifting is done by the social media campaigns. Yeah, there is what what is hard to understand unless you do it every day is that when someone watches a video, let's say that you go out and produce a video about mortgage stuff, and somebody watches that and they see it on Facebook. Even if it's not an ad, Facebook is going to know, hey, that guy engaged with Chris's stuff. And it's going to start showing that guy more of your stuff more often. And I can't remember what they call it, the rule of seven or something. Anytime you have a they, they're like, <laughs> yeah. who, who is this they? You know, but the all known they say that like someone has to see your message seven times or whatever. And if they see you seven times or something and you're helping them every single time, when, they, when they're calling you, they're pretty much already pre sold. It's like, I don't want to like make it sound easier than it is or anything, but it's a thousand times easier than, all right, how are you different? Mm -hmm. Why are you calling me? So-and-so referred you, but you know, it, it's a completely different scenario because they already feel like they know, which is that's perfect. It. Yeah, that's it. And, and it is, 
the new way, I believe, in, in advertising is where our customers are. It's helping them up front, which is completely different than what most people in our industry do. And it makes all of the other processes and actually closing the loan, like they're still skeptical when they give you the application. It makes everything after that point smoother because it's been built on relationship and not necessarily on sales. It makes a dramatic difference. Yeah, it really does. So, so I think that I would be remiss if I didn't say that this is an intent-based branding style video. We're helping people, we're educating, and I've got a link where people can get some help with actually getting this stuff up. If you're cool with me sharing that, I set up a little chrisjohnstonecall.com. We'll fire it up on the screen there and you can actually, so our agency does this stuff for people that are going business to consumer. So we'll run the Facebook ads and actually drive the traffic. Um, and so we've got that link where people can actually book a strategy call. We'll get on the phone with them, help them plan out the campaign so that at the end, they actually have a process that they can follow. They get that for free on the call. If they want to do it on their own, they know exactly what to do. And then if they want us to do it for them, they can ask about it and we'll walk them through the process and see if we're a good fit to work together. So. Um, we're kind of practicing what we preach. Um, yeah. So good. Yeah. It, anyone, anyone who is in that professional services category, mortgage, legal, real estate, banking, et cetera, they should use your agency because <laughs> you is specialized in those fields. And when choosing an agency is very, very important to understand that there's a gazillion of them out there. You can become a social media agency by buying a course for 300 bucks called How to Become a Social Media Agency. You just say, okay, I'm a, I'm a social media agency now in my mom's basement. And yeah. there's a lot of people that are just starting out. You know, I'm sure there are plenty of very talented people out there. Uh, what is the difference between working with your agency and working with another is that that's all you do is specialize in this type of niche, financial services, banking, and the legal. So it's not like, oh, let's just build this campaign from scratch and hope that it works. You know, yeah. you've been at it forever. You've got a ton of clients. You've built this process that's very replicable and very dependable. And that's what you want in advertising. And that is where, you know, philosophically, you know, I try to always make that point to people, which is like, hey, yeah, we're not trying to make art in these ads. We're trying yeah. to make something where you can consistently put a dollar in and know that you're going to get more than that dollar back in a, in a predictable period of time. And that's what you built. So I would strongly recommend anybody watching to take you up on that offer because the offer costs nothing. <laughs> Your office will tell everybody what to do and if they want you to do it for them, you can talk about it. Pretty yeah. yeah. It's, it's the old show people you can help them by helping them trick. You know? <laughs> I might tell you what. Works every time. Look, Frank, I know how busy you are and I can't thank you enough for taking the time to share with us and with our audience and, and help educate us more. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Happy to do it. See you later, everybody. Oh. Can we talk now? Okay. And free. Yeah. That's pretty good.